Hi there, welcome back. Let us look at this example here. We are going to look at a Bernoulli equation. This is one of many. First, let's explore what is a Bernoulli equation. The Bernoulli principle states that an increase in speed of fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease of static pressure or the decrease of fluid's potential energy. And there is a nice equation that we can look at, but also there are some assumptions that go along with the Bernoulli's equation. And the first assumption is steady flow. By this, we mean that the viscosity, the velocity, density, pressure does not change throughout as the fluid flows. Frictionless flow is an assumption that we can also make. Friction due to viscosity forces has to be negligible. The fluid is incompressible and there is no heat to transfer. Looking at this example here, we are told a plastic tube of 50 millimeter diameter is used to siphon water from the large tank. If the pressure on the outside of the tank is 30 kilopascal more or greater than the inside of the tube, the tube will collapse and the siphon will stop. If the viscous effects are negligible, determine the value of H, which is the height, without siphon stopping, using the density of water to be 1000 kilograms per meter cubed. Let's start. So the first thing I'm going to do for myself, looking at this diagram, I am going to write down the Bernoulli's equation. And also I am going to take the point A as the reference point. So looking only at point B and C, this will be my equation. The height at point B plus the velocity at point B squared over two gravitational force plus the pressure at point B and the density of the gravitational force at point B. Subtract the height at point C plus the velocity at point C squared to gravitational force plus pressure at point C, density gravitational force can be equated to the pump head subtracting friction loss. This can be equated to zero, and this also can be equated to zero. We are assuming friction due to viscosity forces to be negligible. We will be left with, we can assume that the speed from point B to C will be constant. We can say the speed at B will equal to the speed at C. Therefore, this will be zero. You can cancel out. And this here will be zero because it's equals to the speed that which is at B. We are therefore left with Z which is the height at point B, pressure at point B, density gravitational force, Z, C which is the height at point C, PC, pressure at C, density gravitational force. We can rearrange this to ZC is equals to pressure at B subtracting pressure at C over density gravitational force which is constant plus the height at point B. We took point A to be the reference point so we can say height at A is equals to zero. Height at point B will therefore be two meters. Height at point C it's unknown it's what we want to calculate which is H. We can take the pressure at A to be the atmospheric pressure since nothing is given here and we'll say it will be 101 kilopascal. Pressure at B you can also assume it to be the, the atmospheric pressure and the pressure at C we are told that it's greater than that which is in the tubes so it will be 101 plus 30 more. This should give you 131 kilo Pascal. Lastly, the speed at A, it's the reference point, so this is where everything starts, is 0 meters per second. Speed at B can be assumed to be as the speed at C. Therefore, the change of pressure, we can also assume it to be. We can go back to our equation now that we have most of our unknowns, which we derived to pressure at point B subtract pressure at point C over density gravitational force plus height at point B. Substituting, we have 101 minus 1 through 1 over the density of water, we are told it's 1000, 
kilograms per meter cubed multiply by the gravitational force it's 9.81 it's constant meters per second squared plus the height at point b it's two meters if you punch this into your calculator you should get a negative 1.06 meters so the actual height is actually the reference point subtracting that which we just got there the answer is 2.94 meters this is the height of h that we are asked to calculate i hope that makes sense thank you so much for watching